Chalene went to Beachbody and she took her program that she was already doing in the gyms for years, it was very successful, and, um, and decided to go with them to do the at-home workouts and have those advertised on TV. So it was Beachbody um, that came out with this whole network marketing um, piece of their branch of their company to, to help their own company because what they were finding is that people were buying these programs via infomercial and they would get them at home and they wouldn't necessarily open them. You know, I'm sure you all know of someone that has gotten a, a piece of equipment or a workout video or whatever and, and didn't use it. And they found that the people that do are the people that were tied to someone else that kind of held them accountable, that was kind of their support person, and those are the people that, that take off. That's why at Bay Athletic Club so many people have such great results because it's this, this feeling of you've got a support person or, or a group of people even. That's what makes people more successful when they've got that tie-in. So they realized they needed to expand on that. So that's where coaching was born. They said we need to, all these people that are already talking about our programs who are already referring their friends to our programs, we need to incentivize them to continue to do what they're doing. And so that's where coaching was born. So then they, they came up with this whole network marketing, um, you know, branch of their company called coaching. And so that's where, that's where it was derived. And basically what it means is you are like a rep for Beachbody. You have your own online fitness and health business. And when someone says to you, you know, I really, you know, I really need help, and I, you know, I, I love doing this or that, you know, as my workouts, and these are the types of workouts I like, then you have, you now have your own product to say, well, you know, I would recommend you try this. Because as a Beachbody coach, you have all these different fitness programs that you would sell from your store that you can recommend to people. So now you have that um, ability to recommend programs to other people because you, you have the knowledge and they're on your website, it's your business. So that is basically the, the gist of what, what coaching is. Now, as a coach, you kind of have, you know, you have two avenues as a coach. You have, you know, the people that you talk to every day and see every day and, and, and that you know that are interested in getting fitter and healthier, or maybe it's just, you know, they need better nutrition. Now you have the products in your own business that you can refer them to. The other side of the business is coaching to your team. That's what financially drives this business, is building a team of coaches. Because as a coach, you get bonus, you get a team bonus based on how your team is doing. So as you build a team and you share with other people the opportunity of this business and you help those people become successful, and really it's not hard to help them. It's just a matter of passing on information that you get from your coach, passing it on to them, just keeping them in the know, letting them know that there's a meeting, letting them know that there's a webinar. That's really it. You don't need to be an expert. So that's basically how the company, how, how the business runs. You've got, you're just talking about fitness, being a product of the product, just doing your workouts, just being you. Doesn't always mean you're, doesn't mean you're selling to people. It just means that when someone needs a recommendation, you give them a recommendation. And if it happens that a Beachbody product isn't the right program for them and you know that, then recommend what you think is right. You know, it doesn't mean you need to make a sale because that's not what drives the business financially. I think that's great. If someone said to me, well, in order to do well in this business, you really need to sell those products. You really need to be a salesperson. You need to make sure that if someone asks you what kind of um, workout they should do, you better be quick to say turbo jam. You better shove that down their throat. That's not how this business works. You can just be you and make honest <coughs> recommendations. What drives the business financially is building a team. Giving people the opportunity to own their own fitness and health business online. That's what drives the business. And then helping those people get in the know and learn how to run their business. That's where I spend, you know, I spend some of my time, you know, reaching out to people and just talking about fitness and just being a product of the product. But then I spend my time with my coaches and just talking to them and, and educating them, passing on inf information that I've learned, passing it on to them so that they can pass it on to their coaches. And just everyone works as a team. The business is not about me. It's about everyone else. 
And most of us feel that way. That's why a lot of people, you know, at first hesitate to get in this business because they think, well, I don't want to push things on people. I don't want to push products on people. And I don't want to push the opportunity. I don't want to push. I don't want to push. It's not about that. It's about sharing the opportunity. If someone doesn't want to do it, you walk away to the next person. And when someone gets it, says, oh, I see the opportunity here. I get it. I'm in. Then you spend your time with that person. You help them become successful because the more successful they are, the more successful you are. Because, like I said, you get a bonus based on how successful your team is. And those bonuses grow and grow and grow. And the reason those bonuses grow and grow and grow is because, let's say I bring in a handful of people. Let's say I just know a couple people that are interested. But each one of those people, they know a couple people. And one of those people that they knew, they know five people. And one or two of those people, they only knew 20 people. Suddenly, you went from a couple people or a few people to 50 people. But out of those 50 people, a couple of them maybe didn't get it for a couple months. A couple of them didn't get it for six months. A couple of them got it the very first day they were in it. But they added people. Those are all on your team. All those people on your team. So you've got people on your team you don't even know. It just grows and grows and grows. You've got people on all parts of the country once it starts growing. But it all is dependent on you educating the people that you bring into the team to say, look, this is all you have to do. It's just a process of duplication. Do what I do. Have your coaches do what you do. And if we all do that, we all win. The people that don't win are the people that don't do that. The people that don't win are the people that just kind of sit, stand back and freeze and go, but I'm afraid. I'm afraid to talk to anyone. You can't be afraid. you just got to put your fears aside. Usually what, what gives you confidence is to learn about the business. So I always tell my coaches, if it's going to take you a week to learn the business, if it's going to take you a month to learn the business, whatever it takes, if you want to be good and you want to have that confidence, learn the business, figure out how it works and learn it. 